What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Oli Oli Paints. Today, I figured I'm, I'm at home. I'm pushing and pulling dents on my fiance's car. Uh, but I figured I would give you guys a glimpse of what I've got going on behind me. As you can see, that's another Series 3. So let's go ahead and look at it. All right, so if you guys have seen my original review of my red Series 3 toolbox, you already be familiar with what this is. This is another 72 inch roll cab on the bottom, uh, double end lockers, but this time I went with the top chest. Uh, so I've got all of the extra drawers versus having the hutch like my one at work. This one's quite a bit different. So like my other 72, it's got the same same drawers down here. I've got all sockets, a couple of specialty tools. Um, I've got another, my, my big skinny drawer turns into my catch-all. This is all my home stuff. Um, I've got a really good drawer right here that happens to be all Milwaukee, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but the cool part that I didn't realize with the top chest is that you still get like a little ledge area, which, if you know anything about me, it kind of turns into a catch-all. Just gets, just gets anything that doesn't fit. I've got a carburetor up there, supercharger, speaker, T-handles, a uh, little mini bridge. Anything that doesn't fit just kind of gets tossed up there. But the end lockers here, I've got obviously chargers just like I have set up at work, uh, various tools, all of my little kits. So I've got a Icon 3 8 kit. This little kit is legit. If you guys need just a socket set to like throw in the truck and just have for whenever, fantastic. Um, we've also got a little Harbor Freight Deluxe Paintless Dent Repair Kit. This one's kind of cool because it comes with a mini lifter, slide hammer that actually works really good, a couple of tabs um, and various other little tools. Um, also got some Kiko stuff up there, rubbing alcohol for glue tabs. And then over on this side, obviously, we've got just your basic, you know, I've got brake clean, Gojo, um, extra parts that I have yet to install on vehicles. And just, you know, just your basic at home garage junk. But I love that, that red and black series three so much that it was like, okay, I was ready to upgrade at home. I used to have a workbench that went from here all the way across. And I just, I needed a toolbox. Like I needed something to store all of this stuff in. So I went with another series three. The, to me, there's no like better bang for the buck because an equivalent in this size, say Snap-on or Matco, I mean, you're looking at 20, $30,000. Whereas this is sub 10,000 bucks. I'm not sure what the exact amount was. But I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm pretty sure this was under $5,000 as well. So there's that. But you know, no garage is complete without having a little service cart. And this I just went and bought today. This is the four drawer. So unlike the bigger mechanics cart, this is a tech cart, um, just smaller, it's a 30 inch. So I just put all like my glue pole. I'll soon have all my PDR rods and stuff in here once they show up. But if you guys didn't know, I'm in the process of practicing. I went to a five day training like you guys seen in the previous video and I pretty much became hooked. Um, so I've just been cleaning up all of my own personal cars like crazy. Um, it, it's, it's both rewarding and frustrating at the same time because no two dents are the exact same. Like you could have two that, I, I just had one that I made two pulls I didn't even really have to knock much down. I made like two taps on it and it's perfect. Like you can't see it. You can't even notice it, especially when you shut the light off. It's invisible. Just sometimes it works out like that. Other times like this pretty sharp one that I'm working on back here. I don't know if you guys would even be able to see this, but this is a very sharp dent and you guys can kind of see that it's almost trying to volcano, but I'm going to knock this little brow down there do another pull and I think I'm gonna get it pretty smooth actually. But honestly like glue pull and this like PDR stuff really reminds me of when I was learning how to paint and how it was something really hard to do and I wanted to master it. So as you guys can imagine, I'm pretty much gonna apply my willingness to learn and ask questions and all of that to PDR and GPR. 
And then once I get this kind of figured out, I'm going to bring you guys along, show you some things that I learned because I, I don't feel right telling you guys, oh, you should get this or you should do this or you should do that because I don't know yet. I'm not, I had a couple of guys say, oh, you should make some videos on glue pulling and I could show you how to rough something out, but I'm in no way, shape or form an expert on this. I'm working on that part. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to make a little update video, show you guys what I was working on. Um, this series three, just, I think it's fantastic. It, after I got all moved into it, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I already know the box because I have it at work. But then after I got all of my home stuff moved into it, I just, I feel so much better. I can actually work in my garage, which for the longest time, this was kind of just a disaster. I can't tell you how much stuff I just said. I haven't touched this in five years. I'm throwing it away. So I filled my truck bed up twice with just random stuff that you accumulate. And now I'm just kind of trying to get the pieces together to be able to work out of here. And I think so far, so good. But yeah, I promise that we're gonna be getting right back into the normal schedule of videos. We are, uh, I've got a new prepper at work as well. So I'll probably be introducing you guys to him. Um, and I'll be making more videos of painting here coming up very soon. I was gone for a week. So right now it's kind of catch up mode, I'm trying to get all the big jobs that were kind of just left on the back burner out the door. Um, but once I do, you guys will see even more content. Uh, but anywho, if you guys like this video, I, I do make social media videos on Instagram, TikTok, obviously here on YouTube. Um, I am also on Facebook. It's all the same, Oli Oli Paints. You guys can find me on there. Um, if you guys have questions, whatever, leave me a comment on here. If you guys have specific videos on topics that you need help with, I will happily make a video tailored to that. That's the, honestly what helped me to grow as a content creator was helping guys answer those questions that they needed answered. So get in the comment section, both here on social media, all of that, and let's, let's make some new stuff. So until next time, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see ya.